I'm Dr. Robert Recker. I'm the director of the Creighton University Osteoporosis Research Center. Our mission is to treat patients, of course, but also to conduct research into the cause and prevention and treatment of osteoporosis and fractures. Hi, I'm Laura Armas. In the Research Center, we're able to apply the latest scientific findings to the care of our patients. We not only conduct clinical trials that affect patients' health worldwide, but we also see individual patients in our clinical practice. Patients see us for a variety of bone diseases, including osteoporosis, vitamin D deficiency, and metabolic bone diseases. I'm Robert Haney. We extend the full range from bone material strength testing to the best possible care of patients with osteoporosis. Our center has been in existence for over 40 years. It was then the most comprehensive osteoporosis center in the country, and I believe it still is today. I'm Dr. Joan Laffey. Our research team in the Osteoporosis Research Center has been working with local members of our community for decades. Many primary care physicians ask us to see their most difficult clinical cases. And we have patients from as far away as California to Maine. Although our focus is on osteoporosis and bone health, we are also interested in other disorders, and we have studies currently going looking at heart disease and obesity and cancer. We've done so many studies here that have been pathbreaking that in a sense we've kind of written the book about various aspects of calcium and bone metabolism that the rest of the country depends upon. Our work has set the standard for calcium intake and calcium nutrition in women during postmenopausal years. So I think our research center has made a contribution, a substantial one. In order to keep it going for the long term, we have established an endowment to support the research. It's called the Sister Ann Evers Endowment for Osteoporosis Research. Recently, we were excited to find that calcium and vitamin D supplementation can reduce the risk of all types of cancer by 60%. These studies would not have been possible without our research volunteers. Over the past nearly 50 years of research, many volunteers have generously joined our research projects, and I would like to give them uh, my heartfelt thanks. There are a lot of benefits for research volunteers. First and foremost, you gain the satisfaction of knowing that you're improving the health of future generations. Also, you learn more about your own health and ways to maintain or maybe improve your health. Also, depending on the type of study, you may be provided with expensive tests or medications free of charge. I hope that you'll check our website regularly to see if there are any studies that appeal to you.